Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Denise. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different and it's the Timu haul. So I got some things from Timu and they are yarn, accessories and a bit of storage. So there's not hell of a lot here but I thought I'd show you what I got anyway. Um, so if it's not your sort of thing like hauls and Timu and stuff like that then that's what this video is going to be about but I'm excited to show you what I did get. I'm going to go down the list of what's in front of me. So the prices that I uh, got them for might not be the same as what they are today um, because Timu prices do go up and down quite a lot uh, so if you didn't know Timu is an app um, or a website that you can go to and they sell pretty much everything um, so I got some yarny bits um, and I just thought I would give them a try and see what they would be like um, there is a couple of bits here that I'm really excited about um, and I can't wait to use them so I'm just going to wait and see what happens um, but yeah I have unboxed everything because I didn't want to or unbag it uh, I didn't want the crinkle because um, I know a lot of people they listen with headphones and whatnot. Uh, but shall we just get in into it straight away uh, all the links for the items will be below and there is a code um, for um, some money off as well so that is all linked down below um, right let's get started I'm just gonna go down the list I have got my phone in front of me so apologies for looking down uh, but the first thing that I got uh, was some yarn of course <laughs> um, and it is this yarn here it doesn't have a ball band so I apologize I'm just going to go by what's on the little sticker. So it's this yarn here. It is 30% mohair, 20% merino wool, and 50% polyester. Um, I picked this because I wanted to try. I've always wanted to try a mohair type yarn, a fluff, whatever. Um, and I know the hand dyed ones are quite expensive hand dyed yarn is quite expensive and I thought if I don't like it then it's not I don't want to say it's a waste because it's not but I, I, yeah you get where I'm going with it <laughs> um, I have one skein of fluff that I did win um, from uh, Mandy's giveaway quite a while ago now um, I just don't know what to use it with um, and I'm scared because I don't want to use it and ruin it <laughs> so I thought if I could buy a cheap alternative and try that first um, then that might work so it's, this is really really soft I got it in this sort of it's not even dusty pink uh, the colorway is 31 if that helps anyone probably not <laughs> uh, but it is really super soft and I always do the neck test um, so I always just put it on my neck to see if it's itchy Oh my god. Oh, it this is not itchy one bit. Not at all. Like I don't know if any of you have have had yarn that yeah, it's it's not itchy. It's so soft. Um so it is only 30% mohair. 20% wool and 50% polyester um, but it is super soft it's really really pretty um, I'm looking forward to, to using this and seeing how it, it works um, and as you can see it is quite fluffy I don't know if I can hold it up any better maybe I'll ask it against my black t-shirt um, it is quite fluffy and I would like to make something so you know like the love note and the ranunculus and tops like that are made with um, a fluff held with I'm just going to call it a fluff <laughs> a fluff held with um, a yarn um, a fingering weight four ply or whatever um, I thought I'd give it a try and see what it, it turns out like this yarn was £2.49 and I believe it's a 50 gram but and it's I don't think it says the meterage on it that's the only thing is there's no details um, on the packet and there's no details on the little 
thing that I've got here. So the link for this will be down below. There may be more details in the actual item listing itself. I've only got like my um, invoicey thing. Um, but I'm really excited to have a go at this and see what it's like. Uh, the second thing on the list is I got, and I've already opened them, uh, is this pair of scissors. So as a knitter, crocheter, crafter of any type, you can never have too many scissors, I don't think. Um, I do have a pair of these already. Ian did purchase me um, a pair of these and I love them. I really like them. They're they're quite big. Um, I have got these ones um, on my desk um, because they're quite sturdy. Um, so I'll probably keep these in my big notions pouch. They, they've got a, quite a weight to them. Um, and I got the holographic handles and they're just, just a plain um, scissor blades. Um, but listen to this. I don't know whether you can hear that or not, but they sound like a good pair of scissors. <laughs> um, and the ones that I have already got are really, really good. I really like them. Um, and for my knitting and crochet, I like the little metal scissors. So I've got stalk scissors as well. Um, so I have these as well. They are the smaller um, type. You can get ones that have got uh, longer stalks on them. But I like metal scissors for my knitting and crochet I just think it's a little bit more fancy um, so these were £1.58 and I'm really pleased with them I really like them um, they will be going into my notions pouch the next thing I got was more yarn and this is 95% um, acrylic and 5% silk there's no ball band on this yarn either. It was 199. Um, it's 120 meters. In the colour, I got uh, blue yellow, purple blue yellow is the one that I got. It, sorry, I'm talking with the you not being able to see my my mouth. I do apologise. I will try better. <laughs> um, yeah, I really I really like it. It's quite heavy. Um, I don't know what the weight is. Uh, it doesn't say the weight. Again, nothing on the the actual packet and no ball band, um, and I can't get the details. If I can get the details, I'll, what I'll do is I'll just put it on screen. Um, but yeah, so this is that one. Don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. Um, like I say, it is a it is a heavier weight yarn. Um, maybe in colour work this would look nice. I would say it's like a DK. Uh, maybe sport weight, maybe a sport weight, um, but yeah, it's quite pretty, it's quite small, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it just yet, um, that's that one, the next one is yarn again, so this is a pack of two, and this is, it's, set, it's really confusing this one, so it says 100% acrylic on that, but then online it says 70% acrylic. So I don't know what the rest of the fibre is. I'm not sure. Um, I got it in yellow. Uh, the ball band, it says it's a 5 ply. And it's 48 gram plus 3. Uh, it's a size 5 weight. So let me show you the ball band. Is that focusing? Um, I don't have a clue. I'm assuming that it is 100% acrylic. It is quite a, it's soft, but it's more like, um, what's the word, like a velvety type yarn. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. Uh, yeah, um, I wanted to see what it would feel like and what it would look like and stuff um to be honest i don't i don't know if it's something i would use or not uh this was three pounds 79 uh for two balls um so i'm not 100 percent sure what i'm gonna do again i'm gonna have to keep this in the packet um even though the packet don't really tell me much information um do i need to keep it in the packet probably not um but
yeah I, I'm not really sure about um, about this so we'll have to wait and see uh, to see if I do anything with it sorry I'm just opening my uh, phone again now the next thing I got I'm super excited about um, I don't know what they're gonna be like but we're gonna have to wait and see I got a pack of 11 yes you heard me right 11 circular needles so a whole pack these were five pounds 79 um, I don't really know what size they go from the 80 centimeter cable and it got a size 6 oh no um, <laughs> a size yes a size 6 all the way up to size 16 which is teeny weeny and each one of them comes with a sewing up needle every single one of them comes sorry about the reflection uh, they all come with a sewing up needle um, I am very happy with this purchase obviously I don't know what the they're gonna be like let me open one so this is the first time I've opened one and let's see what the cables like oh it's not too it's not too curly it's got a little bit of memory but not horrendous um, the cable is like a faux uh, um, I don't really know like a rope I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not it's like a rope um, the join let's have a look the join seem oh that seems really smooth um, obviously until uh, knitting is on it you can't really tell um, here is the join um, it doesn't say on the needle itself what size it is um, no it doesn't say what size it is so for me that's not a problem because where I store all my needles I do have a needle gauge size of thing um, so and and to be honest my interchangeable needles most of the sizes are rubbed off anyway so I just each time I get one out I sometimes I can tell and then other times I have to do I have to put them in the um, the size just to make sure so that is one of the big needles let's have a look at the smaller needle if I can get it out um, like I said these were £5.79 and I think just as um, spares this needle is a teeny weeny absolutely teeny weeny I don't even know what size that is um, the join again is really smooth like from from the cable to the needle like you can feel it but it's not I think you can just feel it because of the texture change not the actual join if, if that makes any sense at all um, oh I'm really excited for these I um, can't wait to give them a try I don't know what I'm going to try them on but um, I don't know whether this is a US size I don't know it isn't so this is a 16 and this is teeny weeny <laughs> like I don't think I've ever knit with needles this small before um, but I just think as a spare and you get 11 so that is what just over 50p each just just over 11 pound uh no uh, sorry 579 i paid for 11 of them wow that's crazy but i am super happy with these um yeah link will be down below <laughs> Um, the next two things that I've got are not yarn or needles or accessories or anything. It's more of uh, storage. So I got two things that are completely out of the box for storing crafty stuff. 
One is a travel bag and one is a sit on the desk type storage. I'll show you. But the first thing I'm going to show you, um, now I, I picked these because I just thought that you don't always have to have storage that is specifically for your knitting and crochet and stuff, if that, if that makes any sense. Uh, some, some people this might work really well for. So this is a portable crochet tool storage bag, but it does have travel on it. And it has cactuses. Um, and it is a little bag that you can hold like this, but also it opens up and you can hang it. So you can hang this on a hook, a door handle, wherever you can hook stuff. <laughs> um, it has a pocket here, which um, is clear. It has two little net pockets here, and then it's got this big one at the bottom, and also this little pocket at the front. Um, so you can easily store a project in here. So you can put your project in here, you can put maybe some notions in here, needles up here, crochet hook. Um, yeah, I just thought it was something a little bit different. And, oh, there's even one at the back. There's even one at the back. I didn't notice that. I thought it was just a seam, but it's not. It's it's pocket. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I just thought that this could be something a little bit different. Um, even You could even use it if you are going away um, and use it as a... Um, project bag um, or store projects in. Um, the, the bag at the bottom, it's not massive but it would easily store uh, a couple of 100, 100 gram skeins of um, yarn uh, and needles, a pattern maybe. You could even put your pattern in the back. Uh, I just thought it was something a little bit different. So that was £5.49. Um, so yeah, just I don't know what I'm going to use it as yet. Um, I'm not sure. I may even just use this as um, putting stuff in for when we go away. Um, bits and pieces like, oh yeah, that would be good for while we're away. Oh, that would be good for while we're away. So, um, yeah, that's that. Not that we've got anything booked just yet, but <laughs> uh, one day, one day, hopefully. Um, the next thing is proper out of the box and proper I don't know what I'm going to do with it and how I'm going to use it just yet uh, but it is um, the biggest thing and it is a cosmetic storage box multi-layer organising jewellery and craft storage this was £12.50 and it looks something like this now if you have a craft room and you like to have stuff on desks or on top of uh, chest of drawers or units or stuff like that um, this could come in really handy if you have a makeup room or you have uh, you do maybe just want to put it in your bedroom as cosmetic stuff um, yeah I just thought it was something really out of the box um, and this here lifts up. It's a huge, massive space, so you can easily, the drawers are gonna come out. <laughs> um, you can easily put stuff in here. You could put your notions, you could put, you could even put a project bag in here. So I've got my socks in here. You could easily get two pairs of socks in that top compartment. Um, you can put just yarn in there to look pretty. Um, however you want to use it uh, then you've got at the front you've got two drawers uh, you can put tape measures in there you could put scissors stitch markers anything you want on the side here you've got four different four yeah there is four <laughs> different um, little compartments again this one this top one's a little bit bigger uh, but you could put stitch markers you could probably fit a little pair of scissors in there so my little stalk scissors I can fit in there if you've got a few of those um, and it could be like a base for all of your notions so once you finish the project put whatever notions were in that project back into here and then when you start a new project right I'll need scissors I'll need a tape measure I'll need this um, 
on this side it's just got I'm assuming it's for like lipsticks I don't know if you, how well you can see that uh, but I'm sure you can find something to put in there um, I don't think oh oh no just the whole thing comes out um, so you could even you could even use this for crochet hooks um, so you could take this top one out I think I'm not sure, uh, but you could, if you could t take this top one out, you could put crochet hooks in the bottom one and, and store them like that. Um, but I just thought it was out of the box, totally out of the box. Um, and it is out of the box, <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, but I might use this as, cos as a cosmetic type storage. Um, I think it would fit perfectly in my bedroom, but I'm just thinking crafty wise as well. Um, if you are a um, cross stitcher you could probably store like threads in here um, I don't know all different stuff like it's a storage box it says here storage box it doesn't say it's specifically for something so yeah I I picked up this too <laughs> uh, that is the last thing that I got I'm really happy with my haul I'm really happy with my needles um, I'm really happy with the mo mohair yarn as well I'm I'm not casting anything on just yet. Um, I've got some things that I need to get off the needles. Um, but I'm really pleased with what I've picked up. And yeah, so I just thought I would show you what I got. Um, all the links for everything will be down below. I know I've said that a few times. There is a coupon as well uh, down below. There's like a code for a coupon. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would share my little happy mail with you um right that's it i'm going <laughs> thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed this haul let me know if you want to see any more or anything like that um sorry if this is not your sort of thing but i just thought i'd share some little bits and pieces that you can get um from timu and there is many 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 more bits and pieces that you can get and household clothes literally the the list is endless that you can you can buy on there so uh yeah but that's it for today thank you for watching and i shall see you in the next video bye